You know, traveling with you has been more than just good old-fashioned fun. It's been, well, therapeutic. Well, just ask. Anyway, thanks for the support, Captain. So am I. <clears throat> I mean, <laughs> I will keep that in mind. Which brings me back to that plan I mentioned earlier. I think I know how to move forward now. But I'm going to need your help. My contact sent a gift. Seems real to me. So they found an insurance settlement. Irvin's employers got paid as compensation for sabotage. It seems that the mining company got a huge payout after they won the case against Irvin. We have the settlement paperwork from their insurance. Tons of money. Oh, also the cyber runner had to move on to other work, but sent me a passcode to some computer system. I'm not sure what it goes to yet. We can just hold on to it until we figure it out. But anyway, we have enough to move forward. The missing piece here is proven that Irvin was framed. So I discovered that Irvin's original lawyer still practices law, and she'll look over everything we've found. Oh, detective. I like the sound of that. If I'm the detective, does that make you my trustworthy and sensible partner with a heart of gold? Hmm. Well, I can work with that. Detective Barrett at your service. Anyway, we should take everything to the lawyer and see what she says. Maybe she reviews it and decides we have no case, or we need more evidence. I don't know. If we don't have a case, I can probably let it go. But I have to try. Fantastic. I knew I could count on you. You're as reliable as an atomic clock. I've sent a list of everything we've found so far to the lawyer in Gagarin. You know, I, I actually feel optimistic about this. Lead the way, detective. Garn has always been a bit of a pit in my stomach. I know it wasn't related to Irvin's death, but I was just thinking that this is about what Irvin saw all those years ago when he arrived. He probably stood here thinking that he was going to make things better. He had a good heart. Oh, you remind me of him sometimes, wanting to make things right. And when you said it out loud, you know, I actually believe we can do it. I just hope our lawyer is as confident. Right. She said she would meet us at our office when we arrive. Hopefully she can tell us what we need to do in order to clear Irvin's name. Let's stick together, though. Gagarin isn't a huge town, but it's not the kind of town that I want to get lost in. Well, well, well. Barrett, you're actually here. Astounding. Ellie! Ellie, come on. I promised we'd stop by, didn't I? Hmm. People make promises all the time, Barrett. And most folks try to avoid Gagarin, not visit it. Anyway, I'm glad you made it out here. 
We have work to do, don't we? Down to business. Perfect. What do you already know? So we already know that Irvin worked for Hephaestus Mining Company years ago. And they blamed him for catastrophic economic and ecological issues here on Gagarin. Yes. He lost his case because he didn't defend himself, and we had almost no evidence without him. Well, we can bring the case to a judge here if we have new evidence or a witness. What about the evidence we found so far? Yes, well, about that. It's just not enough. In order for me to go before a judge, I'd like to have some solid evidence pertaining to motive. Yeah, we need something major. Documentation, recordings, a witness, something. It's been so long. How could we find anything like that? I've thought about this a lot since the original case. The mine that Irvin worked at was shuttered in 2309. They probably still have documents relating to whatever happened there with him. That's where you come in. I don't know which mine he worked at when the incident took place. In theory, you could find that information on a foundry terminal, if you can access it. You'll need a passcode. That's the hard part. Besides the foundry records, there also might be something in Irvin's apartment. If he knew he was being framed, he might have held on to some documents there. Do you know, now that you mention it, I know a cozy place nearby where we could relax and Maybe find some evidence helpful for the case. You both realize I'm still here, right? Irvin had an old apartment nearby. I never sold it. We could search it and see if he left anything there from the job. <sighs> Why didn't you lead with that, Barrett? Hey, at least I didn't forget entirely. Makes sense to me. You've been hanging on to that old apartment this whole time, Barrett? Eh, it was easier to not bother with it. Not like it's worth anything in this economy anyway. I hope you still have the key. I have it. Figured maybe I'd sell it while we were here anyway. May as well, right? Hopefully that's enough to work with for now. If you'll excuse me, I have to get some court documents ready for this case. Irvin's old apartment isn't far from here. I doubt there's much in there, but it's good to check. A hazmat squad came through here the other day. Said the fleet Be. <laughs> if you ever doubted Irvin's genius, look at all of it. Still chugging along twenty years later. Hold on. Is that what I think it is? 
Is that Irvin's employment contract? Let me see. No idea where mine H363 is, but we could search for it at the Foundry database. All right, we've got some solid leads, it looks like. The employment contract and the hunting license at Town Hall. Much better than liquid or gas leads. That much is evident. Ah, it was a bit strange going through Irvin's old things, though. I was hoping for some old pictures, but nothing. Hmm, <laughs> what's that you have there? A plant? Yes, and it was always a remarkable species with an even more remarkable story. I wonder if the same is true for this guy. No, maybe not. But it helps me. Irving was the last person to handle this plant. It mattered to him. No matter how the case goes, this warms my heart. I didn't expect to find it, but I love that I did. In any event, I'll go through Irvin's notes in more detail later. There's probably a flowchart somewhere with this little guy's name on it. Oh, <laughs> on that note, we should give it a name. I'm thinking something simple yet refined. What do you think of Harvey? Then it's unanimous. Okay, the three of us should get back to it. You, me, and Harvey have a case to solve. sponsored by Hephaestus after all. You're back. Well, what did you uncover? We got it from Town Hall and everything. It's the real deal. I see. This sort of thing works well for the narrative of our case, but we will need more evidence to bring it to a judge. We're on it, Ellie. Don't worry. Well, I like the sound of that. Okay, now that is a solid lead. Well, don't let me stop you while you're on a roll, detectives. We can talk more later. You don't need to be a botanist to know Harvey's probably thirsty. 20 years is a long time to go without a drink. Try. 
Coordinates look valid to me. Imagine Irvin thinking the same thing all those years ago. You get the Just a job, right? Department? Well, at least we know where to keep looking, Dad right? It's worth double what it was when I moved in. I guess we'll see so, what state the mine is in. It's possible they collapsed it before they left. We just won't know until we get there. If that's the case, we'll just have to figure something out. Let's go find Irvin and Helgi's lab stations. Seems like Helgi tried to do the right thing here. I'm sure Ellie would want to see this. He's citing me. I 
I hope Ellie is still taking names and holding people accountable around here. Share the catwalks, all right? I don't want to have to fish anyone else out of the cave. Ellie! Hello? Welcome back, detectives. Ellie, I sent you off Welcome to the back, you two. How was the trip sure to the you mine? Know. You're gonna love this, Ellie. Okay, someone better tell me. Come on. We found the coordinates to Irvin's old work site and went there. Huge battle. Fire, explosions. Pew, pew. Barrett, please. You should have seen the plants in there, too. Weird stuff. Anyway, you read over the documents we found there, right? What do you think? What you both found in that mine is remarkable. These documents show that the chemicals released by the mining process contaminated the ecology even before Irvin was tasked with removing the predators. And they also show that Helgi informed Hephaestus of the issue, and it was repeatedly ignored. And with that, I think we've got ourselves a case, my friends. Yes! That's what I wanted to hear, Ellie. Woo! Yes, but it's still likely to lose. Because what we really need now is Helgi as our witness, and that is a problem. Helgi isn't an ideal witness, at all. He was our star witness the first time, and he never showed up. Plus, he's got a reputation around town. After he quit, he went a bit... weird. No, I can handle a bit weird. I know the captain can, too. Clearly. But the judge might feel differently. It might be worth finding some character witnesses, too, while you're looking for him. Helgi's documents are nothing without him there in court, explaining them to the judge. Does Helgi still live around here by any chance? Sort of. He's, uh, unpredictable, though. You might ask Dr. Kayala. She checks up on folks who fall through the cracks sometimes. You'd have to convince her to tell you where he is. That might be hard. Sounds like we're making a stop at the med clinic. We'll be back when we convince Helgi to be a witness. Listen, if he refuses, then he refuses. Can't force him. Yeah, we don't want to press him too hard. The last thing we need is him refuting what he wrote. This is going to take a light touch, but I think we can handle it. medical assistance? Are you injured? Is there something I can help you two with? Do you happen to know Dr. Helgi Hawkson? We're trying to get his help with something. Sorry, who are you exactly? We're detectives. Self-taught and unaffiliated. Freelance detectives. With the emphasis on the free part. Wait, what? Detectives? <sighs> Sorry, I don't think I know what you're talking about. I'm sorry. I'm not a tour guide. You'll have to ask somebody else. We're trying to help him. And Gagarin, actually. Ellie's a good person. That bodes well, but I can't violate my oaths. I'm sorry. Listen, 
I can say that Helgi took up a job working at Clint's store just down the way. I saw him there stacking boxes the last time I picked up an order. I've got to get back to my work here, so if there's nothing else... If it's patient medical records you're after, I'll remind you, I'm not at liberty to discuss that. We're thinking of taking Hephaestus to court with Dr. Hawkson as a witness. Now, given his situation, we're worried the defense might um, cast aspersions on his character, even question his mental health. That's unfortunate, but not surprising. Look, if he agrees to testify and grants me permission, I could vouch for his well-being. Thanks, Doc. If he does end up testifying, we'll definitely need you for the trial. Ellie Yankton will be in touch. No promises, given patient confidentiality, but I'll do my best. I need to get back to my work now, if you don't mind. You've been to Clint's recently? You get crushed under all that traffic? Someone painted some choice words on the front of the Arcmite factory the other day. Their robots took it down pretty quick, though. Welcome to Clint's. Whatever you need, I'm sure I've got it lying around somewhere. Except mech parts. Don't trade those anymore, so don't waste your time asking. If you need anything, just follow the sound of falling inventory. You'll find me eventually. Funny you ask, because I'd like to know too. He owes me a sizable debt. Yeah, I don't want to be mixed up with anything like that. I do understand. I'm trying to figure out a way to help you, okay? I can see that. All right. Fine, fine. I don't know where he is, but ask Lizzie up at the bar. She knows everybody. You sure you got the right person? Helgi and I have had several run-ins in the past. For me, yes. But there's a lot of water. Well, we just need someone to serve as his character witness. Given your long-standing reputation in the city. Sure. I can say a few words. I like Helgi. But fair warning, I'm not gonna lie for him. If I'm testifying under I'm oath, it'll be full of the good I'm and the bad. I said I'd have today. Wouldn't expect anything less. You did. May Multiple not look times. like much, but there are some quality Next pieces week. in here. When just Jack gotta find them. It's all yours. If I don't have those credits in hand next week, I'm throwing you off the catwalk. I remember watching shiny new mechs rolling onto ships at the... Looking for a drink? Don't serve anything fancy, so if you're about to ask for wine spritz or whatever... You can hop right back on your ship to New Atlantis. Well, then make yourself comfortable. And don't start anything, all right? Ah, yes. Uh, the detectives. I heard about you. A reputation already? I'm impressed. Hmm? Slow news day, I guess. I serve drinks here, friend. Oh, uh, we were told that you are a local crime. We serve drinks here. Here's a list of our specials for today. Um, there's nothing on here. Oh, that's strange. Here. Let me fix that. Don't worry, it's just the one sale today. 
Oh, right. Of course, it's a number. Here you go, Captain. All yours. Thanks for your patronage. Sending your receipt directly to you now. We'll be sure to leave a glowing review for your establishment. Don't worry. Wait. So let me get this straight. You want the bartender to testify he's not a lousy drunk? All right, I'm no lawyer, but seems like a bad move. Also, it sounds like work. And I don't work for free. If it's about creds, you might earn a lot of brownie points with the locals if you helped with that. Points they'd spend at your bar. As long as I'm still alive to spend it. But fine. If you get Helgi to show up, I'll take some of the heat off of him. See ya. I don't suppose you're here to tell me I've won a ticket to a new planet, huh? Sorry, Doctor. Not today. We came to Gagarin to investigate Irvin Madani's contract with the mining company a long time ago. Ring any bells? Irvin, yeah. Biologist. Hunter. Yeah, I remember him. Why? Who are you people? Then find the history slate. An ancient history slate. Because that's what it is. Please. Irvin was once one of your colleagues. He was the one who faced this blame for an ecological disaster about 20 years ago. Do you remember any of that? No. I don't remember lies. It's been twenty years. Twenty! Get out of here. Look, I know this is strange. We show up out of the blue about things that happened decades ago. But right now, nobody save us knows the truth. And that means we're the only ones who can clear Irvin's name. Then Irvin should have showed up at the trial to defend it himself. It's not just about Irv. This can't be the only time something like this has happened. Someone needs to hold this company accountable. That's why we'd like you to testify in court. Testify? The trial is over, the verdict rendered. In case you two clowns didn't get the memo. Ellie? Ellie Yankton? But why? Ah, it doesn't matter. Nothing's changed. I can't. I cannot do that. Why is this so hard to understand here? Huh. That makes a lot of sense. Now that I think about it. I really hope so. <sighs> Fine, you've convinced me. I'd be willing to testify on one condition. I want to know what happened to Irvin. 
because when he disappeared, let's just say I had an epiphany. Hephaestus didn't need to say a word. That's when I knew the threats against me and my family were real. Dr. Hawkson, it wasn't Hephaestus that took Irvin's life. It was the war. Irvin was just in the wrong place at the wrong time. Caught in the crossfire. Then I am sorry for your loss. It won't change the past for either of us. But I will testify. And maybe, wherever Irvin is, you'll be glad that we can finally stick it to those assholes at Hephaestus. Thank you, Doctor. Yeah, yeah, don't get all mushy on me now. <sighs> I need a drink. Helgi agreeing to testify is a great help. Okay, you two, lay it on me. Did you find Helgi? Did he agree to testify? Well, we've got good news and... Well, that's it. Just more good news. Okay. Does that mean he said yes? Well, that is perfect. She's probably the best person to call on should have faced us decide to play dirty. Well, you two have done all that you could. Now it's time to hand the baton off to me. What do you think, Ellie? Do we have a chance? The evidence you've gathered is impressive. It truly is. So what's the verdict? In this case, I'd say spoilers are appreciated. I almost never say this, because I don't want to jinx it, but... I think this case is a slam dunk. Huzzah! <laughs> That's what I like to hear. I think we can do everything on our checklist. Clear Irvin of any wrongdoing, charge Hephaestus with the cover-up, and even restore Helgi... Uh, Dr. Hawkson standing in the scientific community. All in all, though, really outstanding work. We wouldn't have gotten this far without your efforts. And I've got to imagine that wherever Irvin is, he appreciates it too. Agreed, Ellie. And thanks for being our anchor in this. We should probably get out of Ellie's way and let her do her thing. We can talk more in private. Wow, we actually did it! Solved the case, and hopefully cleared Irvin's name. I feel like... what's the old saying? A great weight has been lifted off my shoulders? But it's actually true. I feel like I'm 80% biomass and 20% aerogel. Thanks. I was trying not to be too optimistic about our chances, because that's when a cosmic reversal kicks in. But I think it's okay in this case. We've already proven Irvin's innocence, and I trust Ellie to explain it. I'm feeling great. Although I could do with some wine and cheese. Why stop at emotional satisfaction when we can indulge in the culinary, too? But if I can be serious for a moment, thank you. I couldn't have done this without your help. Ah, that's sweet. But it wasn't just for me, it was for her. And, of course, we can't forget our new friend, Harvey. In fact, Harvey's got a little explorer in him, too. According to this slate I found, 
Turns out that our spiky friend's been all across the galaxy. You know what? He just might. But it's probably best you chart the course. Harvey doesn't do well with things that require hands. We've been through a lot, haven't we? I had forgotten what it was like to work with someone so closely. On top of everything else we've done together and with Constellation, yeah, I think so. Investigating Irvin's case with you is something uh, I'll remember forever. I've come to realize that some events, uh, some people, stand out as pillars of my life. Yes, some of them do. And if we're lucky, they change us for the better. <clears throat> we only get a brief moment in this universe to interact, to feel, to be who we are and experience the range of emotions that our bodies and minds have evolved to comprehend. Sure, our bodies are all we have, really. Humans are physical, which allows us to be social. This allows us to interact with others on a natural, almost primordial level. And these interactions can be fleeting or drawn out substantially, if you know what I mean. Anyway, if one is fortunate, you might even notice events and people changing you while it is in motion. Well, that's what I'm asking you, actually. I know I certainly am. I've explored many worlds, and I've worked with Constellation for most of my life. I cherish those memories. But you have changed me as a person forever. I don't want to look back years from now and wonder what if. I need to know what you think about us. Hot damn. Yes! <clears throat> I mean to say, I, I feel the same way. I haven't missed your uh, <laughs> very welcome and affectionate hints. I still grin when I think about some of the things you've said. And just so you know, I loved it every single time. But before we go on further, are you really ready to build love into our friendship? This is a huge step, you know. I'm... I'm ready to. This... Whew. This is the moment I was hoping for. The moment that I will remember forever. <laughs> My heart is racing. This is an adventure in itself, isn't it? <laughs> 